One day, many years ago, I got word to cross the mountain for a chance of buying some yearling ewes. I had not long set out before I fell in with two neighbor men, and glad enough I was of their company. It was mortal lonesome up in those hills. They are so full of the old ancient things. There's the Kenny Stone, Kilinarden graveyard where the old kings lie buried, St. Monin's well in Tumeling. There's something about those places that makes a man glad of company, and gladder still when he's past them. Well, it did not take us long to reach Sally Gap, what with the talking and the fine day that was in it. We took the shortcuts along the sheep paths through the firs. I was in great heart, never felt better in my life. Suddenly, without a moment's warning, a terrible feeling took hold of me. My stomach fell in as if with the most awful hunger, my knees trembled and the sight left my eyes. A sweat so cold that it froze my blood broke out of me. I fell to my hands and knees and knew that I would die in a few minutes. One of the men I was with looked back and saw how things were with me. He came to me and, reaching into the pocket, took out a morsel of bread which he forced into my mouth. Glory be to God, but it was the hard matter for me to swallow it. Howsomever, I got it down at last. In less time than it takes to tell, the life came back into my body. I stood up, thanked God, and was as well as ever. That was the hungry grass you trod on, the neighbor man told me. Nobody but a fool tramps these hills without foot in his pocket. Many a stranger died for lack of it. It kills even cattle or sheep.